Welcome back to the channel. We're working on the Firebird again today. You can see the Miata's covered. Uh, working on the motor here this weekend, but we're tearing apart these spare 241 heads. So let's see where we're at right now. Pretty easy to do. These uh, have damaged combustion chambers. I threw them up on Facebook Marketplace. No one wanted them, so I'm just going to chuck them. So I'm just taking the valve springs out, and I'll test the valve springs before I put them in this motor. So we've got three out right now. It's working okay. I'm using this Lyle uh, 16560 tool, which is a pretty simple process. And we'll set you up and show you how one of these works here. The idea is trying to put this together uh, on as fiscally responsible budget as possible without cutting corners, so it's a balance. So let's get you set up. The process is very simple here. You just take a four millimeter Allen wrench and you just move this threaded rod from hole to hole. I do recommend bottoming it out so that we don't have a chance of stripping out where those rocker thread in via the factory studs. So you thread it down, bottom it out, then you go and grab the actual tool. Now in the instructions, they'll tell you to stack the washers. So that's what I did. It kind of created almost a slip joint. And I just have them set on the tool and I use the side of the head from a leverage standpoint. Now it's not marring the head, which is nice. Then you just thread the nut down on top and then use a 13 millimeter or a half inch socket to wrench it down to where you can actually get the valve keepers loose with a hammer. So I just grab my hammer here once I tighten it up. Just to add a little bit of tension, you'll see the valve open up just a little bit then you can do it with the hammer. Now that we've got the valve loose of the keepers, just crank it down a little bit more and I'll actually use a magnet to pull the valve keepers, if you will, out. There you can see I grabbed them out with the magnet. Very easy to do. Now simply just switch the ratchet to loosen and remove tension. Now this is probably one of my only complaints about this tool is occasionally, and it might be because I'm using a double valve spring setup here. Occasionally, and you'll see me fight it here, the, the tool will get stuck. The washers are actually getting stuck on the threaded piece. It's not quite centered on the springs and it puts a little bit of lateral pressure on it but there you go that's one removed very simple to do pretty simple process again i'll be wiping these down and cleaning them and testing them all but first step is tearing them down a couple minutes per to keep the valves up i'm uh, actually throwing just a towel underneath in the combustion chamber so we're going to keep running down this line we'll set you up on time time lapse here just speed up going through the other four valves re being removed on this head. Very quick process with the tool. Probably three minutes or less per valve and spring removal. Takes more time to move the threaded rod over than it is actually to remove the springs as you can see here. That's a wrap on the first head. I didn't show removal of the seats, but just pull the valve stems. I'll show that in the second video. Now I'm wrapping them up. So I can keep it all together and I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to put these heads together. Notice I got to get cleaned. But let's get going on the second head.
speed through the rest of these here very simple process all in all took me a lot longer to edit this video than it did to take apart the heads we're going to cut away to the bottom side here you can see everything's removed all the valves are out i managed to save 13 out of the 16 valves out of this head this chamber is pretty messed up here's the tool after two heads worth of use a little bit of marring on the nuts again the washers a little bit of warp and bevel to them. This part held up really, really well, as well as the stud looked pretty well. There's a little bit of galling on the threads, but not much. Again, I recommend using a little bit of anesthesia there. Hopefully you found this useful. So there you have it. Tell me what you think. Um, tool worked really well. Now, would I buy it again? Maybe. I'll link it below in the Amazon description here. I've got another one coming Friday, I don't know when I'll get that video up, but that's going to be one that's more of a breaker bar style. And I'll let you know kind of how I like it compared to this Lyle tool here. But thanks for tuning in, watching. Please click subscribe and uh, share if you found this useful. Also, comment below on your thoughts. Thank you.